Hi guys, um, a short video about inflation. Some examples of numbers I have found um, of consumer goods, commodities, assets, um, uh, what the price was 20, 30, 40, sometimes 50, 60 years ago and what the price is today and then a simple calculation how much it has gone up in price. Uh, because uh, I'm, I'm convinced uh, real inflation is 5% per year on average. And here I will give you uh, a bunch of articles uh, with the exact prices. And uh, so you can see for yourself how much it has gone up if you put it in the calculator. Because this is quite shocking. We think it's only 1-2% but it's 5%. Oil. The price of oil was uh, at the... Uh, 1971 uh, it was 3.56 uh, dollars per barrel eh? so three dollars 56 cents per bar per barrel in, uh, in at the end of 2015 when I say year it's always at the end of the year eh? so at the 31st of December 1971 it was three dollar 56 and at the end of 2015 last year so uh, it was $37.28 per barrel. That means an inflation of 5.48% per year. Eh? So 5.5% per year. The price of gold is also uh, important to measure. How much has it gone up? Because in fact, that is uh, certainly uh, a reflection of how much the US dollar is dropping in value versus gold. Uh, in 1971, the price was $38 per ounce. Uh, 2015, the price was $1,060 per ounce. That's an inflation rate of 7.86%. Uh, so almost 8% per year uh, had the price of gold has gone up. Silver, in 1971, it was 0 0.27 cents per ounce. Uh, so uh, today or 2015 at the end of the year it was $13.82 per ounce. So that's an inflation of 9.35% per year. Real estate, uh, the median sales price of a home, a new home in the United States in 1971 was $25,000. Uh, in 2015, the median uh, sales price of a new home was $299,000. So about 10 times more in uh, 44 years. So that's an inflation of 5.78%, almost 6% per year. This has gone up on average. Stocks, which is also... Just if you look at the S&P 500, which is an index of the 500 most important, uh, the biggest 500 biggest companies in the US, uh, if you buy that in 1971, it would have costed you one, uh, I don't know what, uh, the price of the S&P 500 in points was 102.09 in 1971, and in 2015 it was 2043, so it became 20 times more expensive is an inflation rate of 7.05% per year. Coal, which is really a commodity, um, it should really go down in price over time. Instead, in 1971, it costed $7.13 per short ton, uh, is it measured? Uh, and in 2015, it costed 43.50 dollars per short ton so about five times more mm, and that's a price rise of 4.2 percent per year and note that we have gone through busts boom and bust cycles in commodities but in 2015 actually commodities had gone down a lot eh, oil 37 dollars per barrel uh, it used to be a couple of years ago $100 per barrel. So if you would have looked then, it, it, the inflation rate would have been like 7 8%. But because oil just went down at the end of 2015, just like coal probably, uh, it was relatively low. But still, even when it's relatively low, you're at an inflation rate of for coal 4.2%, for oil 5.5%. 
natural gas, $1.15 per thousand cubic feet in 1971, in 2015, $10.38 per thousand cubic feet. And that's 5.31% per year. A new Corvette cars should go down in price over time, because a Corvette in 1971, that was quite something. Today, a Corvette, it's still special, but not so special as in 1971. Yet, the price tenfolded in 45 years. It was $5,472, eh, $5, about $5,500. In 2015, it's $50,000. That's an inflation of 5.18% per year up in price. A Big Mac, which is cheap food, uh, mass produced, should go down in price over time. Instead, in 1986, when the price was measured by the economist, I did a big study on that, 1986, it was $1.60 for a Big Mac hamburger in the US and in 2015 it was $4.9 almost $5 that's an inflation rate since 1986 of 3.94% so 4% per year it has gone up in price a Hershey chocolate bar another commodity it's branded but it's just a basic chocolate bar um, it costed, and this is a very long price history, since 1908. And so that's over 100 years of prices I have in front of me. Because I only read the first price and the last price. But I for all these prices, the prices in between too. And I will publish them in the comment section under this YouTube video. Um, this is since 1908. The price was two cents, two dollar cents for a Hershey chocolate bar. And in 2013, as the last time I measured it or the info I have, it was uh, 0 0.99 dollar cents dollar per for one Hershey bar of 1.55 oz was the weight. And note that actually the weight of the bar has tripled because in 1908 they sold bars that was three times lighter it was 0 0.56 os the weight eh? um, uh, and if you convert that uh, it is actually for 1.55 os it would not have been two cents but 5.5 5 cents uh, in 1908 well today the same 1.55 os um, Hershey bar costs not 5.5 .5 cents, but 99 cents, so almost a dollar. Uh, that's an inflation rate that was in 2013, and that's an inflation rate since 1908 of 2.79% per year, so 2.8% per year, which is very low. Um, it's very interesting that if you start measuring since 1908, inflation is much lower than if you start measuring since 1970, for the Hershey bar, the inflation rate since 1970 is 5.2 percent, and note that 1970 is before the big commodity price rise in the 1970s. Towards the end, all commodities and precious metals have gone up a lot in price, but this is before measured in 1970. The exact price was 11.27 cents for one. Uh, Hershey chocolate bar. Uh, it was 1.37 uh, os, uh, but if you convert it to 1.55 os, it is 11.27 cents. Since then, the inflation rate has been 5.2 percent. Um, but since 1908, it has been 2.79 percent. Uh, of course, this is related very likely to the US dollar. Um, not being backed by gold anymore since 1971 or two. Uh, this has, uh, it seems that inflation rate has gone up uh, since then. Um, according to the Hershey bar, it has gone up a lot. Um, so, uh, Nabisco Oreo cookies, another consumer good. 2004, the price was $3.36 for an 18 
Os uh, weight of uh, Nabisco Oreo cookies and in 2013 it was 5.77 so that's an, a 6.19% inflation rate uh, in about nine years. Kellogg's Corn Flex 2000 it was 1.99 dollars for 12 Os Corn Flakes uh, box and in 2013 it was 3.79 uh, dollars an inflation rate of 5.08 percent Campbell condensed tomato soup in 1950 it was 10 cents and in 2012 it was 87 cents an inflation rate of 3.55 percent per year bacon in 1940 it was 0 0.23 cents um or uh, sorry, a 0 0.23 dollars, and in 2015 it was 5.48 dollars, so an inflation of 4.82 percent per year, and that's it. Uh, so if you look at the prices, the higher end is around six seven percent inflation, the lower end is around three four percent, so that's an average of five percent. Uh, from these numbers and note that the biggest expenses uh, is of course for a uh, average home it's of course real estate a house um, uh, food uh, a car uh, energy all these things um, are uh, a big part of this uh, we have measured homes we have measured uh, a lot of food items we have measured almost all energy items uh, so, voila. I hope it was helpful for you, as it has been very helpful for me to re know. And this is still happening. If you measure prices, you will see that the price go up on average by 5% per year. Thanks. Bye.